G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to add and subtract mixed numbers. Anyway, sit back and enjoy. Okay, in this example, we're going to get three and two thirds, and to this, we're going to add three quarters. All right, we've got a mixed number, we've got different denominators. It's pretty messy, right? Nah, these are, these are not too bad to deal with. It's just a couple of steps you do. The first thing we're going to do here is, for this mixed number, we're going to change this into an improper fraction. Okay, so how do we do that? There was a video where we looked at this. What we do, if I was to draw this, you could see here that we have one, two, three, and that's cut into thirds there, and we have that. So if I was to color this in, we'd have these guys, and that's our three and two thirds. So the way that we change this into an improper fraction is once again, we're gonna go three times three here, that's this three groups of three, and we're gonna add the two. So three times three plus two. This is equal to 11 over three. And to this, we're going to add three quarters. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, all we have is different denominators now. And we've already dealt with this kind of idea. It's not too hard. We just have to look for a common number that both three and four go into. And that number is 12, okay? So three times what equals 12? It's three times four. So we're gonna multiply the top and the bottom by four. Uh, the bottom here is a four, which we multiply by four to get 12, and it's a three. So we're gonna multiply the bottom by three and the top by three. So what do we get when we do all that? 11 times four is 44. Uh, three times four is equal to 12, and to this we're going to be adding. Three times three is equal to nine, and four times three is equal to 12. Okay, what do we get when we get this? Uh, 44 plus nine is equal to 53 and that goes over 12. We can simplify this further because we can turn this back into a mixed number. How many times does 12 go into 53? Well, it goes in four times. Uh, that's four 12s of 48, and we have a five remainder, so that's five over 12. And we can't simplify that any further, so that is our answer. Anyway, what about I give you a couple of examples to now do yourself? So let's give you three examples. Okay, so the first one, nice easy one, same denominators. Let's go two fifths plus one fifth. I don't think you'll have uh, much trouble doing that. The second one, let's use different denominators. Let's go one third plus three quarters and see what that equals. Uh, for the third one, let's use mixed numbers. Let's go two and three fifths and we're going to take away one and one quarter and see what that equals. All right, give these a go. So two fifths plus one fifth. Well, we're gonna keep the bottom number the same here. They're gonna stay in fifths and two plus one is equal to three. They're really simple. So that's right, if you got that answer, that's correct. For this second question, one third plus three quarters, you're going to see that we have different denominators. We're gonna look for a common number that both three and four go into, which is 12. Okay, the common number that they both go into is 12. So we're going to multiply what by three to get 12? It's going to be four. So we're going to do that to the top and the bottom. And what do we multiply by four to get 12? That's three. So we do that to the top and the bottom. So what do we end up when we do this? One times four is four. Three times four is 12. To this, we're going to add three times three is nine. And four times three is 12. Okay, what do we get now? Okay, four plus nine is equal to 13. And this also goes over 12. We can simplify this further because this is a improper fraction at the moment. 12 goes into 13 once and with one remainder. So this is one and one twelfth. Okay, for the final question here, two and three fifths take away one and one quarter. Well, we're gonna first off change these mixed numbers into improper fractions, and then we're gonna to have to play around the denominators. So let's first change these into improper fractions. Two and three fifths, okay? Two times five is equal to 10, plus three is equal to 13. That becomes 13 over five. One and one quarter, one times four is four, plus one is five, and that becomes five quarters. Okay, so now let's get this common denominator here. So a common number that both five and four go into. An easy way of doing this sometimes, if you get really stuck, 
Just go five times four and it will tell you a common number they go into. Let's see if you can't think of one really easy. So five and four both go in to 20. What would you multiply by five to get 20 here? And that would be four times four times four. What would you multiply by four here to get 20? That would be times five times five. So what does that leave us with? Okay, 13 times four, this is equal to 52. Five times four is equal to 20. We're going to be subtracting here. Five times five is 25, and four times five is 20. What have we got now? All right, 52 take away 25 is 27. The denominator stays the same because we've got the same denominator. Okay, and we can simplify this further. This becomes 1 and 7 over 20. Anyway, hopefully that video was uh, comprehensible for you. And in the next couple of videos, we're going to be looking at more playing around with fractions. I'm also going to put another video up where it's going to be having a look at a shortcut you can take to uh, save yourself a bit of time when you do these, okay? Uh, and so you can almost work out fractions instantly. Anyway, hopefully that video was uh, good for you. We'll see you next time.